it was just horrible. All the things that happened and all the things I didn't know about that happened. In their hands, they hold the simplest object, a paper clip, a symbol of things held together, a symbol to say, we must all get along. It represents a loss so in the Holocaust, and I don't, I'm not going to like throw it down and just leave it. Some Tennessee middle schoolers began collecting paper clips as a memorial to Holocaust victims. They wanted to collect six million paper clips, one for each Jew killed by the Nazis. After a few stories about this appeared in the media, letters and packages began arriving from around the world. The 17 clips I am sending represent members of my very close family, two of whom were killed in concentration camps. The paper clips come with letters, family photos. These are stones from a death or concentration camp, someone that now is, has passed away, walked on this, and somebody that was brutally murdered. So it's sad. These letters are teaching a history lesson that no textbook, no matter how well constructed or how new, could ever teach. Practicing racial or religious tolerance might not seem very important in a place like Whitwell, Tennessee, population 1600. There are no Jews here. And basically the entire valley is white Anglo-Saxon and Protestant. But what happens when children grow up only knowing people like themselves? The school, wanting to make ideas about diversity and tolerance meaningful, developed an eighth grade curriculum about the Holocaust. They learned that during the war, Norwegians put paper clips on their lapels as a sign of solidarity with Jews. Even hate mail becomes a lesson. We show them that there are people that don't agree with what we're doing. My mother survived underground, hiding during the day and coming out of hiding in the evening to scavenge for food. I never had grandparents, aunts, or uncles. They were all part of the six million. They killed six million that I represent because they were Jewish. Esther Loeb, a Holocaust survivor, came to bear witness. But it was a camp of horrors. There were a lot of beating. There was a lot of rape. A lot of sickness. Remember, this is 250, and it just represents 250 people. Just 250. So you know what a six million does. There are memories stored in these barrels. We it makes me feel off. like I'm touching the souls, you know? Memories that have made a difference. At the very beginning, I was a little bit prejudiced toward people, but now I've learned to live with everybody. A simple object becomes a profound symbol. Children change their thinking, and the world becomes a better place.